And uh, Aldrich is a candidate for the Master of Education degree and the preliminary teaching credential. Aldrich. Thank you for coming today. Can you hear me? Good. Thank you, families, especially mine. <laughs> they're all scattered. I think they came late, but they're here. Uh, the Olympians, the Box, Sally Yacht, Salmasans, the Gumans, and also our friends. Give it up for our friends. <laughs> who always had our backs throughout this process. Family, friends, GSEIS teachers and mentors. As much as this day is about us graduates, it is even more about you. We are products of you, and we stand on your shoulders. So, I'm in TEP. <laughs> and as teachers, we use strategies such as call and responses to engage our students or audience. So, what I'm gonna do today is engage all of you in a call and response. I'm gonna say G-S-E-I-S, -E and all of you from the stage to the back, all the way to the back, you are all gonna say, we the baddest. Great? Okay, so let's practice that one time. G-S-E-I-S. We the baddest. Good job, a little faster, but that was good. All right, so I'm gonna do that four times, I'll count it off, and we're gonna keep going back and forth, and when I signal you, go ahead and say it. So, G-S-E-I-S. We are the baddest. G-S-E-I-S. We are the baddest. G-S-E-I-S. We are the baddest. G-S-E-I-S. Teaching youth up in classes, organize the masses. G-S-E-I-S. We are the baddest. We got that T-E-P and urban schooling. S-R-M Hiyak coming out the building. Can't forget about P-S-C and M-S-A. Education minors, how you feeling today? We got P-L-I and E-L-P, S-C-C-E, that's community. We banging on the system with a similar purpose. We more than theory, call us praxis. <laughs> Some folks think we cray, but really we fray. Like Paolo, read the world to God the way. I take a moment to pause and reflect as I give y'all much love and respect for your late nights grinding, never compromising, fair trade coffee and $11 parking. <laughs> All you do because every day you save the life of another youth. Love you, Jay. So, my fellow graduates, yes, yes. you, this is the real part of the speech. So <laughs> my fellow graduates, you are important. I stand before you today not as an individual not as an all-knowing scholar, okay, there, but yeah. as a member of our community. Uh, take picture right now. We come from Southside Stockton, <laughs> Sac Town, Echo Park, South Central, Pasadena, San Jose, Union City, Pittsburgh, Santa Maria, Salinas, Silmar, Compton, Fontana, San Pedro, and other amazing communities. We come from farm workers, immigrants, calloused hands, sun-kissed skin, and loud, organized voices. We come from hope. We have all come a long way to be able to sit in these seats today. And I can never speak complete justice to the struggles you have overcome to be present today. Like many of you, I am the first in my family to finish college, let alone graduate school. Like many of you, According to society's dominant and hegemonic ideologies, someone with my skin complexion should not be walking across the stage today. And like you, I came to this university with a purpose far greater than any form of academic prestige. I came here to obtain the tools that would allow me to better serve my community. Yeah! We came here for our students, yep. for our sons, our daughters, our siblings, our cousins. I borrow from bell hooks when I say, though our community may be faced with limitations and never-ending challenges, we know that our communities 
are places of possibility. The people I see in front of me are more than just educated people graduating from the prestigious University of California, Los Angeles. The people in front of me are mothers, fathers, mentors, artists, organizers, warrior scholars, and healers in our community. Che Guevara once said, at the risk of seeming ridiculous, let me say that the true revolutionary is guided by a great feeling of love. In my community, all of you are true revolutionaries. We live in uncertain times. We live in a time where educators, teachers, scholars, professors, and students are continuously pitted against each other by this oppressive system. Yes, we all have to eat. Yes, we all need to make sure we get ours. But my community, it does not have to be at the expense of each other. The work is far from over. As we take a momentary pause to celebrate our families, friends, colleagues, and each other, remember that tomorrow we're back on the grind. My community, I believe in you. My community, you are all critical hope. My community, you are important. And my community, congratulations. Yeah! That's just a taste. There was a <laughs> lot more out there. All right. Thank you very much, Aldrich. And, um, and I, I told him that I would be right in there doing it too, and I was. I know you didn't see it, but I was. Okay. So now you have a sense, a taste of the wit and the wisdom and the knowledge, the skill, the passion, and the commitment of our students. And they are wonderful, aren't they? Yes. Okay. Now it's time for each graduate here today to be individually acknowledged and to take a walk across the stage and have a picture taken. Once every candidate has been presented, I will confer degrees upon them. The candidates will be presented by the chairs of our two departments and the heads of programs within each department. I want to introduce the nine presenters now. They'll come up when they're supposed to, or somebody will get them and they'll come up. And I want to ask you, please, presenters, keep standing till we have all nine.